Hi guys, uh, welcome to iQuanta. In the previous uh, video, you have seen some multiplication techniques. Today is also with multiplication. We will do some other numbers. So let's begin. So this session we will do first multiplication by 11. Now think about it. Whenever we are doing multiply by 11, what is the easiest way to do this kind of question? So it is 123 into 11, right? So when it is 123 into 11, the first thing we need to do, just write like this. So 123 and add 0 here and 0 here. Just do this. Add 0 in the right, add 0 in the left. Now add 2, 2 digits. So what is 3 plus 0? 3. Next to 2, 3. 5. Next to 1, 2. 3. Next is 1, 0. 1. So your answer is 1353. Am I clear? So just add 0 in the left and in the right and add 2 2 numbers like first this 2, next this 2, next this 2, again this 2. So the 2 pairs, you have to just keep on adding these 2 pairs. Similarly, we are checking this also 2 2 3 into 11. So like 0, 2, 2, 3 and 0, right? So what is the first step? 3 plus 0. Kitna hota hai? 3. What is 2 plus 3? 5. What is 2 plus 2? 4. What is 0 plus 2? 2. So your answer is 2, 4, 5, 3. It's that simple. This is like the technique for doing the, multiplica the multiplication with 11. Now there is a catch. Let's say we have something kind of like where there is carryover. You can see there is no carryover in this kind of questions. Now I will discuss something which has some carryover. So let's discuss the next one. 347 into 11. Now if you think about 347 into 11, so the method is exactly same, 0 and 0, right? So first what you need to do, 7 plus 0. So 7 plus 0 is 7. Now 4 plus 7, that is 11. So write 1 and 1 is carry over because 4 plus 7 is how much? 11. Write 1 here, 1 is carry over. Next is 4, 3. 4, 3 is 7 plus 1. That is 8. Next is 3, 0. That is 3. So your answer is 3, 8, 1, 7. I hope I am making these things clear. Whenever there is a carry forward, you have to just add it in the previous, just like the same as the multiplication. Just add it before, add it before, add it before. Am I clear? So this is the multiplication techniques for 11. Next we will learn about 12. Now 123 into 12, right? So in case of 123 into 12, the first thing you need to do, it's the same kind of approach we are going to use. So think about it, 0, 1, 2, 3. Now what we are going to do, we are using, in the previous case, we are using A plus B, right? That is for 11. Now we are using 2A plus B for 12. Because it is 12, so this 2 is multiplying with A. So we are doing 2A plus B. Because in the 11 case, what we have done, we have added 0 here and we are just keep on adding, adding, adding. Now we, what we need to do, we need to multiply with 2 and add it further. So it is basically 3, 0. So let's think about 2 into 3 plus 0. So that is 6. So this is the way we will proceed now. So 2 into 3 plus 0 is 6. Next is 2 into 2, 4 plus 3 is 7. Next is 2 into 1 plus 2 is 4. Again, 2 into 0 plus 1 is 1. So your answer is 1476. I hope I make things clear with you, right? So next we will discuss about 13. So think about 13. So for 13, we understand we need to do what? 3a plus b. Because what about 12? 12 mein kya tha? 2a plus b tha? So 13 mein kya ho jayega? 3a plus b. So in this case of 3a plus b, just do the same thing. 123, my favorite number. 00, zero add kar diya yaha pe, aage peche. Now 3a plus b matlab kya hoga? 3 into 3 plus 0. So 3 into 3 is 9 plus 0 is 9. Second is 3 into 2 is 6 plus 3 is again 9. Next is 3 into 1 plus 2. That is 3 into 3 plus 2 is 5. And next is 3 into 0 plus 1. That is 1. So your answer is 1, 5, double 9. Am I clear? All of you guys. I hope this is like how we can. So for 14, we can do 4a plus b. For 15, we can do 5a plus b. So this goes on like this. So this is the method that we are generally using in this. So let's see you guys in the next video.